exactly why we'll do one last thing. Okay. Lost me. Realize the shit we've been through to get this far. Sure do. To let it all go now. Why? Cleanest. Least bloody option. We try anything else, people will die. People die. It's the way of things. Am I worth their sacrifice? Or you? Besides, it's the only way we'll both be aware. Of what? Death? Mm -hmm. The moment life escapes. Hmm. Never really gave it a thought. Funny how you still manage to surprise me sometimes. Might be something I learned from you. V, you sure about this? As long as you got nothing against it. Not how I'd have done it. But that's all right. Just like that. No pushback. Huh. Might have learned a little something from you, too. Is it time? You know, it really is beautiful. Been nice working with you, V. Yeah. With you, too, Johnny. Alright, so the day I got Cyberpunk, I waited till like 1 o'clock in the morning to start playing. Like, I, I played it as soon as it was released, in Canada anyway. And my experiences for this was, I had its ups and downs. It was uh, maybe overhyped, but I wasn't disappointed of the, the game itself. Like, the character creation is, uh, I think it was over-exaggerated on the, how much you can create, but other, it was still lots to choose from, I guess. I mean, I've seen other games that weren't supposed to be character creative based, but they were more options to do to your character. But, I don't know, I guess they just didn't want to fuck around with the whole don't put too much into your character because it's going to break the fucking game. But other than that, there's a, a, a decent handful of things you can do to your character with like your eyes, uh, I guess skin types, I guess limited with tattoos. Uh, the custom of your genitals was clearly over exaggerated, but uh, I didn't really show too much in importance to it anyway, because you didn't really see too too much involving you and your own genitals. I think it's just to make people happy what's under your clothes. <laughs> uh, but you can give yourself breasts as a male, give yourself a vagina with the appearance of a man, and same thing for a woman, you can have a penis and like remove your nipples and shit. But it doesn't really matter. I f Usually the graphics were on and off. I mean, I had two patches since I had this game. And... I mean, there's some parts, some scenes are pretty sharp, pretty beautiful. The colors are very nice. The, sh the shadows, the highlights, the it's brilliant. But there's some other times where the game starts looking like fucking Play-Doh. And that's just because the render and the frame rate's really slow. I'm sure it'll be patched up over time. I mean, I am playing on PlayStation 4 after all. Uh, the bugs in this game, though, uh, 
A lot of people were complaining about how bad the bugs were, but I have to admit, it did make make it more humorous, that's for sure. And this is mostly with the highlights that are in here, or all the bugs. I thought they were pretty great, honestly. Um, I mean, Skyrim was a pretty big game, um, and there was a lot of bugs in there in the beginning. There's a, So I think, again, people over exaggerating uh, how bad the bugs are. And I pretty much highlighted all the worst bugs you can get in the game. None of them stopped me from proceeding the story, like, I don't know, Far Cry and the Windmill. But, other than that, I find the bugs were pretty enjoyable. Uh, didn't ruin my experience. The, the sound of this game is not too bad. I mean, there was times where characters would talk and their mouth wouldn't move. But... Again, that just goes with uh, the frame or animation just didn't keep up with it. There's a lot of shit going on that the game cannot keep up. Like, say if you drive down a road so fast to, like, the next uh, corner of the street or a little bit ahead of, like, three streets from there, there would be no people in sight and there would be no vehicle. So you just pretty much have the whole road to yourself. But that's not what I pictured in Night City when I first came here and started driving around. I expected a huge population of people and a lot of cars. But because the frame rates were really f janked as shit, um, they wouldn't load in there. So it, was, it felt pretty empty. The combat itself was pretty fun. Um, it was, uh, it gets a glory. I mean, there's dismemberments. You blow up people's head with by punching them or cutting them off with your blades. Uh, you can be stealthy. It's a little bit challenging, but if you can build your perks and base for it, go ahead. Uh, you can be more combat and ready. You can be tactical. I mean, you can be kind of like uh, use your hacking abilities more often for more technician style. Uh, so there's diverse in combat styles. I would say made much of a big deal. I kind of just ran through this game in the Blades of Glory. I alternated between weapons to see what I was comfortable with. Uh, the sex scenes in this game, they were, uh, I guess they were censored so much, there's not a whole lot you can see, like you can't see penetration, you can't see, uh, your, like I said, your own genitals before, but I don't know, I guess it's more like the, for the story, for your relationship with that significant other, depending on your gender, I guess. Uh, differs with your partners in the game because some characters are bisexual some of them are lesbian some of them are gay and some of them are straight so you can't just fuck everybody like the game people thought that it would promise um so again that part was over exaggerated as well but you're not gonna be disappointed i thought like the story through this whole thing with different people and the relationships that you have were actually pretty great like i felt I need to be invested into this game and become V myself. That's the point of it, is to be me in this game, how would I would do things, how I would say things and talk and combat and my relationships and and more like built a story with those relationships that I had. Instead of me just going around fucking everybody. Uh when you have relationships with people it's like put yourself in your shoes and their shoes is like just invest into it and you be attached and have a actual emotional connection to characters like when this will be a spoiler alert from here on now um so right now if you want to skip to the endings which is 20 minutes 24 minutes in go ahead but from now on i'm going to be spoiling endings and parts of the game uh when your friend jackie dies i actually felt sad because i kind of got attached to him and i got attached to him too early I, I chose the street life kind of thing, the street kid, so it's like I, my mentality in here was to be the street kid, to know it all, the the language, the like the lingo and like the perks of it and I got attached to Jackie and when we did the mission and he sacrificed himself for me to be kind of famous, I, I felt sad because like I have actual friends that would probably do that for me and I would vice versa. And when he died, I was actually sad. And when you meet your new friend, Takimo, or Goro, um, yeah, he was supposed to there to assassinate you, but you guys save each other's lives, and you kind of have this 
relationship where you constantly owe each other and you guys have a common goal. And when he dies, I was like, oh man, no way. Like, again, I got attached to him and he was gone. And so, in this game, you pretty much can be like a PI. You can be a private investigator, you're a mercenary, you can be a, a theft gig missions. Like, you pretty much have all kinds of jobs to earn money. There's a lot of side quests. Uh, there's a lot of characters that are pretty diverse in this game where you can just pretty much uh, build a bunch of connections and... Uh, the more connections you do, and I, that does affect the story. The more connections and people you do is the the amount of interactions you have later on in the game. Like, say if you do not do any nomad missions or go down to the west part of the fucking night city, you will not meet Panma. You will not, like, have, like, the nomads to back you up. In the ending, you are basically, like, it'll cut you out from that type of ending. You're blocked out of the ending because you didn't build a relationship with that character. So it's kind of cool, like, if you you want to create, like, these endings and everybody kind of interferes or interacts the the ending of your life altogether. Driving in this game is not too bad. Uh, I prefer bikes in most games, like GTA or Far Cry or any free roam based game. Uh, it's more control for me. Cars were very boxed in. I have vertical vision, and sometimes when I play first person, it it's like it kind of happens here and there where I can barely fucking see what I'm, I'm doing. Um, what are you doing? You freak! I was talking to the kid to see how they interact, and he called me a freak. So I pulled the gun and tried to scare him. I don't want to get shot. Like the environment, it's kind of interactive, but it's also limited. Uh. I said, it's over exaggerate how people came to be. Um, my favorite part of the game was me going to the bring him back silver hand for one more show and him just playing and I was just looking of like how everybody's moving, the interaction of the crowd, the kind of atmosphere and vibe and just the song itself. So I'm just gonna stop talking so you can just listen to it and just feel how awesome this was. This game wasn't too bad. I really did enjoy it. Um, I don't have too much bad things to say than the things that are already been said by other people. I just find they were over exaggerated. I thought this game was a masterpiece for the story. The writing is very, very interesting. Um, I I found myself almost in the ending of these games because all the attachments I had with these characters and stuff, almost in tears, like fighting back the tears because of how. The relationships were 
and so I'm a very story based person when it comes to like these types of games where I really invest myself into these characters when it comes to any single player story game I'm a different person when it comes to the multiplayer but I have to say like for a story based game I have to give this game at least a good 8 out of out of 10 or even an 8.5 to a 9 because of how well written it is despite the graphics of this game I give it like it's the story you have to think about and the the hype was good for the story anyway I'm not disappointed one bit and I think everyone should give this game a try at least and I don't know just try the game out yourself I'm like other people reviewed it as good some people reviewed it as bad some people were returning their money actually for this game and asking for refunds and selling it right off the bat but I'm sure there's gonna be patches down the road for the older consoles so they can also enjoy the game a bit more uh, apparently my PC and PlayStation 5 friends are not having any issues with this game at all but they're also saying it wasn't as like hyped or the uh, graphics or anything is any better there's more like performance that they got that it was more enhanced than the Xbox and PlayStation 4 people and I mean I wouldn't let that slow you down it's yeah it's monotonous and maybe a little annoying but it's not to the point where you can't it's not playable I would say just take your time with it pretty much for now until the patches come in and that way it doesn't fuck your shit up but I don't know, take in the game, take your time, don't be running all over the place and those frames will get all jaggy and shit, drive like a thousand miles an hour, take your time and then let the game load in and you can actually see more potential for this game and hopefully those patches will make the environment more like how Night City should have been. Uh, for the endings that are coming soon, um, my favorite one's got to be, I guess, the sad ending, which is Johnny's. He, V, sacrifices himself. And you can see that the whole game, Johnny's been a piece of shit, an asshole, constantly being the secondary, the devil on your shoulder, I say. Because this game is mostly like a split personality thing where two minds are trying to fight for one body. And his ending, I find, you actually see a different side of him where he's actually sad. And I find that's a great character development. Like, the best type of development ever is seeing the, the asshole actually turn to, like, a hero. And the character you play as, V, his endings were... I mean, I tried to get all of them as I could. There's one where he's actually absolutely defeated because you feel like a god afterwards. You feel like you're, like, the best mercenary. And there's one where you're just defeated. And it's sad to see your hero just get his ass beat. Another one was he t takes off with his lover and they live a happy life and he appreciates the time that he has left. Another one is that he leaves everybody behind and becomes like an Avenger and he's like, oh, I'm going to do this last job and it might kill me. And there's another one where um, V sells his soul and he, that's the sad one that he dies and he looks up at the space and he's just like yeah I'm not, I'm not gonna sell my soul I'm not gonna be part of Orisaka's uh, collection and he stares off at the at the earth that he's gonna come back and see all his friends again again he only has uh, so much time to live so it's like if he doesn't like have any jobs so mostly in the end he just spends his last days with like his friends and lover as Johnny, you live on because your body's trying to decay itself and turn its DNA into Johnny so Johnny Silverhand can survive. So, um, this is it. Uh, you can like or subscribe or don't. I don't do this as a job. I do it for fun. And I recommend this game for anybody that enjoys a good story. Despite all the bugs and stuff, I thought it was very, very humorous. So it kind of added to some of the the glitches that 
V suffers from because he's suffers from not like cyber sarcosis, but suffers from like the relic digitally fucking up his vision here and there and his hearing and stuff and you can see that throughout the game and I find the glitches kind of add to like the madness of it it almost makes him like a schizo because they're not really happening but they're visually happening to you and I just pretend that they're not happening to anybody else that I'm only seeing it and um but yeah definitely um a, a great game and I don't listen to everybody that negatively puts this on this is just an honest the good and bad that I can constantly put it to and there's not much more I can say about it than what I haven't said it's just uh just live in the world where we constantly hear from other people and we just need to follow the sheeps that that do it I'm never going to refund this game. I'm probably going to wait till I get it on PlayStation 5 and see the difference. And I might do a review, I might not, depending that I'm probably sure other YouTubers will. So there's no point in me doing it. I just did because, you know, I have it and I make these videos for myself for the future or my family and friends to see. So everybody, uh, Merry Christmas, because I think this is being released for Christmas, and everybody stay safe for COVID, and wear a mask, and wash your hands, and make sure your family and friends don't get infected, and stay healthy, and stay indoors, just take the cautionary steps for how, regardless how ridiculous they sound, uh, we're all suffering, we're all annoyed, and... I mean, we can only do this as a team. Smasher, I remember you. Promised to kill Silverhand once. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Johnny, he's here with us. Now he can't talk, but I can feel him under my skin. What the fuck are you talking about? In the end, got you. Silverhand triumphs. in and that's that? You give up? Stop. Just stop. Gonna just roll over instead of fighting for what's yours? Decommiss yourself because you're too fucking scared to say goodbye? It's my decision. Let me make it. But damn it, are you dead? Haven't changed a bit since we I'm so damn tired, Johnny. I just want to start a new. Even if I don't know what that means, it'll be good for you too. V, I'm just, I'm just scared. See you around, Johnny. It's gonna be me. 
You lying sack of shit. So what do I do, Walt? Simply cross the bridge. You will become a part of me, as V's body and former life are restored. Are you fucking kidding me? There are no options, you two-faced sack of shit! You're out, I'm in. That was the deal. Okay, easy. Too big a dose of silver hand wound up in my blood. Need to chill. Listen. If I had to choose who to hole up with on a desert island, it wouldn't be you. Ever. Hell, the whole cast of little big corporal rats would have you beat. Cause you're a dickhead. In a big way. And sure, plenty of others out there are more deserving of life. But even so, I'd never wish you dead. Promise me one thing, asshole. You won't forget me. That's kind of grim. Then again, who am I to judge?
Okay. Here goes nothing. See you down bottom. Over and out. the bus! Hey! Get off! Wait! The guitar! You forgot your guitar! No, I didn't. Haven't forgotten a thing. Never will.
Perfect. All great, Pan Am. We're going home. in the shade and there's sandstorms heading straight for us. So yeah, you're missing out. No, but seriously, we're doing all right. Saul and I somehow get along, for better or for worse. But still, family's always growing, work's always piling up. But better to keep busy, right? And to think if it wasn't for you, I'd still be stumbling my way through Night City. So I just want to say thank you, for all you've done for me. I'd still be lost if you hadn't set me on the right track. All right, well, talk soon, V. Don't be a stranger. Heard about something big happening in Night City, with a certain V in the lead role. Uh... I don't know what you plan to do now, but just remember, we always take care of our own. And, um, you're one of us now, V. You're an Alda Caldo. Remember that. Ah, take care of yourself, V. And see you around. V, hey! Can you hear me? Shit, is this thing recording? Okay, well, all of us have been wondering when you're finally going to drop by. We can get a barbecue going, knock a few back, do a couple of races, or pay a friendly visit to the Raff and Shiv. Guess what I'm trying to say is, well, Badlands could use a badass like you, V. Don't know what you got on your plate right now, but remember, you're welcome out here anytime. All right, now, take care. Hey, Rogue here. I wanted to... Oh, voicemail. <laughs> Why not? V? I was wondering if you could pass a message along to Johnny. Two messages, actually. One, that he's an arrogant, egotistical son of a bitch. And second, 
that it was nice to talk to him again. Both of you, take care of yourselves, okay? B, hey. So, here's the thing. A couple fellas from the 5th Precinct busted a shop selling illegal iron. Sawed-offs, stun guns, mustard gas canisters. Orders from on up were to blow it all to the ground. But then I thought, well, maybe there's a better way to use all this stuff. For a good cause. I still remember what you did for us. For me and Randy. This city needs more people like you. But I'm gonna make sure they're equipped. This one's on me, V. See you around. Hey, it's Perales. V, you're gonna wanna hear this. But first, you need to go somewhere no one's listening. Okay, so my wife, Elizabeth, she's in on the whole thing. She, she keeps saying I should look after myself. Tells me to take these pills. Says they're vitamins. Got them analyzed at a lab. And they look okay. But, but how am I supposed to know if somebody didn't falsify the results? Well, 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 when you got a sec, call me, okay? Oh, yeah. And don't forget to delete this message. Hey, V. Orbital connections cost an arm and a leg, so I'll just get right to it. I was just thinking about you, so I laid out a quick tarot and. Oh dear. The Fool, the Moon, the High Priestess. Those, uh, those are bad cards. Keep a close eye on your new friends, V. I mean it.